This is Pearl's house. In just about a week, 12 women who need a place to stay while they're transitioning through the Benton County Drug Court will be able to live here while they get back on their feet. A lot of times, uh, women that are in Benton County Drug Court, they don't have a safe place to go to when they enter into the system. So they have to go back to either a domestic situation or back to a home where there's active uh, drug use taking place. And it, it makes it really hard for anybody in that type of environment to maintain their sobriety. Positive energy affecting recovering lives or Pearl is opening Pearl's house on October 2nd. The group completely renovated this four bedroom, three bathroom house in Rogers for women who are going through the Benton County Drug Court. Definitely needs all flooring, painting, a few doors. Pearl started renovating the house in June and Pearl's house will be the only transitional living home exclusively for women in the Benton County Drug Court. We're here to put women back into society, to help them become productive members of society again. Uh, a lot of times they just need a reset. People that are in, um, you know, stuck in the grips of substance use disorder, you know, they lose all connection to, um, to society as a whole. The executive director of Pearl, Ashley Lehew, is in recovery and went through the Benton County Drug Court herself back in 2018. Now she's dedicated to helping other women. We're not bad people trying to be good. We're sick people trying to get well. And so that's what we like to instill into our clients um, and into society as a whole. Pearl's house is almost ready to open, but the home still needs a few finishing touches and the group is in need of monetary donations, an extra refrigerator, a dining room table that can seat all 12 of the women and a big screen TV. For more information about how you can help Pearl's House, you can visit our website at 4029tv.com. And if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, you can always call the Arkansas Speak Up About Drugs hotline at the number you see on your screen. Reporting live in Rogers, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.